You can lose body fat without cutting calories just by getting stronger. If you did nothing else but eat the same calories you're eating now and get stronger in the gym, you would lose body fat. For anybody who fears or hates lifting weights out there, particularly women, this video is for you. A big study came out last summer. It reviewed 122 other studies and it found that gaining muscle is associated with reduced body fat. And it doesn't take much. Even gaining just 2-3% to more muscle can help you lose 4% of your fat mass. Now scientists aren't sure why this is. It could be that there are chemicals in muscle tissue that help the body burn fat, or that training causes compounds to get used for building muscle rather than being stored as fat. I suspect it also has a lot to do with the regimented lifestyle of training. Eating more protein, getting more sleep, managing stress. All of the things that make you stronger and more muscular are also good for losing body fat. But at any rate, there seems to be a repartitioning effect when you train that makes a person automatically leaner when they get more muscular. Now I want to tie this back to strength specifically. The only way to gain more muscle is to get stronger. So I repeat. If you did nothing else but eat the same and set goals to add weight to your lifts in the gym, you would get leaner. Technically, you don't even need to be in a calorie deficit to lose fat. You would lose more fat and lose it faster if you did cut calories, so dieting is still a good idea. But you could just eat the same amount to maintain your weight, ideally with a little bit more protein, and focus on getting stronger. And you will gain muscle and lose body fat over time. Brett Contreras discussed this in his book, Glute Lab, which I consider a must read for anybody who wants great glutes, but also wants to understand training in general. Brett writes, I worked with the client for an entire year. She was roughly five foot six and weighed 132 pounds. She was already eating in a healthy manner, around 1600 calories and 110 grams of protein per day. So I told her to keep eating the same way. Over the course of the year, her body fat never fluctuated by more than a few pounds. She went from squatting 65 pounds to 215, deadlifting 65 to 275, hip thrusting 95 to 365, and bench pressing 45 to 105, and she was able to perform three bodyweight chin-ups. Her physique improved markedly despite zero change in body weight and caloric intake, and she looked lean and athletic. She put on a pair of pants she had worn before she started lifting, and there was a four inch gap in the waist, but they were very tight in the glute area. This is a perfect example of recomping. When you recomp, you lose overall body volume because muscle takes up less space than fat at equal mass. Moreover, you add shape to the right areas and whittle shape from the problem areas, which results in a much more aesthetically pleasing appearance. 